Amir Baraka's life started on the streets with crime and incarceration. In prison, he realized he and other inmates had something in common. Those men in prison cannot read. I've experienced it. I was there with them. We all paid people to write letters for us or to read letters for us. In prison, he taught himself to read by memorizing what words looked like. Now he's become a model, a successful actor and producer and homeowner. But it wasn't until he was an adult that he discovered he has dyslexia. I was called stupid and dumb, particularly by my, my, my mother, my, my siblings. Uh, the teachers sort of just uh, uh, sort of pacified me. I was laughed at by kids because I, I never uh, passed a spelling test. So I, I struggled with that. I'll break it there. Ost, ostent, ostentatious. Now in his 40s, for 15 months, five days a week, an hour a day, Amir takes an online class from the Now Company. Even though he can read and has written a book about turning his life around from the streets, he is learning the basics, even what comes before phonics and sounding out words. But we know from research that children as young as five, six months old begin learning how to speak by looking at their parents' mouths. Um, and yet, that's one of the skills that tends to be kind of, uh, kind of weak in people who have dyslexia. Because of his learning difference, he crossed paths with Senator Dr. Bill Cassidy and the school he and his wife opened in Baton Rouge for dyslexic children. Got there, 55% black kids, struggling kids out of the projects. I said, oh my God, you're doing phenomenal work. And I just jumped on board with him. That not only got him to testify to senators on Capitol Hill about the impact undiagnosed dyslexia had on his life, but he started a foundation to keep others from the same fate. Forty percent of dyslexics drop out of school. So what we're creating in this country, Meg, is the streets to prison pipeline. Because when they drop out of school, just like I did, they get into trouble. Mongo, good. The first mission of his foundation happens on Monday. In conjunction with other groups, schools around the U.S. and two in New Orleans will screen at-risk kindergartners through second graders for dyslexia. I can't even explain the enormous um, success a kid can have when he had that early intervention, or the early screens and those early signs. Sylvani Williams College Prep principal, Dr. Stanley Green, has been an educator for two decades. He's seen the prison time and lives of dropouts cut short. Trying to save as many as possible, as early as possible, is, is the goal of an educator, especially my goal. Because um, I've seen that side when we don't save them, when they have fallen through the cracks. My reading has soared. I, I no longer have to go to the dictionary to, to find out what the word is. Uh, I, could, I could break the word down. What seemed to be something that was going to destroy my life is something now is being used to help others. Meg Ferris, Eyewitness News.